Hi guys, Prime Whiskey here, I'm Rickard. We're back again with another review. Uh, this time, thanks to my good friend Peter Morin, the whiskey expert, uh, he gave me this bottle. Uh, the Glen Allocky Single Cask 2009. It's uh, been matured in a PX Punchin. It's quite a large uh, barrel, so it's uh, 680 bottles. It's bottled at 56.7% ABV, natural color, unsheet filtered, of course. And uh, yeah, it's a Glen Allocky PX. What can go wrong? That's right. I'm right handed, so we put the glass here. Okay, on the nose. Yeah, cherry notes are there, of course. Dried fruit, raisins, and also almost like sugar. Maybe a little burnt sugar, you know? Yeah, cotton candy or something like that. Very sweet on the nose. And maybe some toffee as well. But the main character is the dried fruit, raisin, figs, dates. Yeah, that's right. On the path. Mm. Though it's uh, 56.7%, you don't need to water it down. You can do it if you feel like it, of course, but quite smooth and gentle. You don't feel the alcohol. And then you have the flavors coming back, quite sweet. Uh, you have the raisins, figs, dates, dried fruits, a little bit of toffee, or maybe some, um, a little bit orange note, or maybe tropical note as well. Yeah. Yeah, this one was uh, great, I would say. So, sum it up a little bit, on the palate you have the dry fruit, raisin figs, dates, a little bit toffee, and uh, also, yeah, I would say sugar, like uh, burnt sugar or something like that, in a pleasant way. Maybe cotton candy or something like that, a little sugary, if you can say. Um, yeah. Quite a decent drink, a little bit expensive. I thought I think here in Sweden it's about uh, 100, 110 euro. So uh, a little bit expensive, but for a single cask at cask strength, uh, at least we think it's cask strength. It's uh, 56.7 percent ABV. So yeah, uh, on the back here it says taste dark chocolate. I couldn't really pick it up one up. Maybe I'm uh, hopeless. When you know there should be dark chocolate, of course pick it up. But uh, no, not so much dark chocolate for me. More than dry fruit. Yeah, it says here as well, dry fruit. And they picked up a little bit of uh, pineapple. I talked about uh, tropical fruit and um, yeah, maybe it's pineapple. I actually leaned a little bit more towards uh, the papaya or the mango, but um, yeah, maybe pineapple. We go with tropical fruit. It contains a lot of fruits. So. Okay, uh, I should give you a score as well. Uh, I think it's about 86, 87 or something like that. Like that. Um, yeah. I stay in the neighborhood of 86 to 87 point on 100 scale. So, yeah, like the video, hit the thumbs up. For more videos, please subscribe. And until next time.